on her up welcome to a brand new episode of the aura podcast i'm taryn williams thank you so much for clicking on this episode i greatly appreciate it uh, so in this episode of the podcast i'm going to be talking about the latest episode of the menu i actually just finished recording and uploading um episode three of season three of the menu which i make beef stir fry and just kind of like what i did with my um philly cheesesteak uh egg rolls that i did last year thought it'd be kind of fun to maybe do a podcast about the episode my thoughts and kind of what went into it i figured that'd be kind of cool just kind of a a companion podcast for all my food videos okay maybe not all my food videos but for you know a few of them and so um beef stir fry because i haven't actually done it so i just decided you know i want to try to make it be something different one thing about the menu is i'm always trying to try things that i've never done that also just kind of challenge myself and learn new things and you know things like that and so beef stir fry is something that my mom used to always make for us growing up i always like it i like you know chinese food and kind of you know ch- like oriental style stuff so i figured why not try it so it was pretty straightforward to make i was a little worried because i was because there's some things that i did as differently so usually when you make stir fry you have your oil you put your meat in and you kind of sear the meat and then you add your veggies and stuff like that and then towards the end you add kind of a sauce to toss it in the sauce to create that kind of that beef stir fry sauce well I bought a stir fry seasoning mix, which uh, a stir fry seasoning mix that I mentioned in uh, the episode. And so instead of putting it in later, I actually marinated my beef in that, just hoping it'll get some flavor, maybe tenderize and stuff like that. And so I was worried that if I put it in too early, it'll get too thick and start burning. But I think it kind of worked out in the end. Like the meat was a little, you know, uh, wet during that time, but it wasn't serious. Um, so there's like some play. There is like a lot of uh, audibles I had to make for the episode. I was looking for flank steaks. I went to Fair Play and have flank steaks. So I used pepper steak, was what I mentioned in the video. I did like a lot of stuff, and there wasn't a whole lot. Like I was actually looking for uh, wonton strips in the store. They didn't have any, but I bought egg roll wrappers. So I ended up, um, you know, like making my own wonton strips before I recorded the video. I did like a lot of prep before. I recorded that video so that's why the prep part of the video doesn't really exist it's more of the cooking aspect of it because I did a lot of prep the day the night before just to make sure the video was a little bit uh, smoother it's also the first one I've done in almost a year because I didn't do a whole lot of cooking videos last year during the initial part of the pandemic and grocery stores were messed up and people were panicking and grocery stores couldn't get truck deliveries it was a mess so I decided to kind of delay for a little while but yeah, and I did kind of uh, cheat a little bit in the episode because I used frozen stir-fried veggies and canned stir-fried vegetables. Because I didn't really want to spend a whole lot of time cutting vegetables. You know, if you really want the authentic kind of taste of it, that's cool. And I, if I had more time, I'd probably do it. But for my first time, you know what? They make stir-fried vegetables for a reason. So, you know, why not just use those and go for it from there? Um, yeah, but it was a pretty straightforward episode. It was actually pretty fun. Um, the... I really like the origin story. I just kind of learned about beef stir fry, where stir fry is, was kind of this combination of Chinese and Japanese words, and kind of because stir fry is kind of like their version of gumbo, if you will, because it's kind of like it's, it's leftover meats and leftover things you have. So okay, after you cook, you know, for the week, it's you know Friday. If you have some chicken left over, you have some broccoli, you have some carrots, you have some things left over. You kind of make stir fry out of that. This is kind of cool. Was I kind of like that idea of stir fry being like, okay, what's what do we have left, and let's put it together and make something delicious. And it wasn't too. I was a little uh, worried, kind of said early when I first started cooking. I was a little worried just because I watched some stir fry videos, kind of give me an idea what to look for. And also, I was using um, an electric wok, which my mom is actually the wok is actually older than me. I think the wok is like 36, 37 years old. And so my mom has had it. She's actually had it for that long, and she's never used it. So I'm the first person to actually use the wok. So it was kind of interesting. So I had to you know, get used to that. I like, I actually like, I don't like electric stoves, but I love electric appliances. Like, I love electric skillets. I have one personally. I love the electric wok was cool. I like that type of thing because it's just kind of cool where you can just plug it in. It'll get hot in a few minutes. You can use it. Very nice. But yeah, I think the episode was a success. Um, again, the episode is up on the YouTube channel right now, Slice and Dice Gaming Entertainment. Go ahead and check it out. Give it a like and share it. If you like stir fry, I'll make your own. I forget what's up next. I think spinach artichoke dip is up next for the menu, which is interesting. It's something I didn't expect to like, but I'm not a big fan of artichokes, but I really do like spinach artichoke dip. So we're going to find a recipe and learn some stuff about that. I think that'll be the next, uh, the next, pretty sure that's the next um episode for the menu. 
Um, but thank you for listening to this brand new episode of the Order Podcast. It's a pretty short one. Just kind of giving my thoughts and my my thought process for the latest episode of the menu, which is kind of what these episodes will be about. Um, but yeah, so but thank you so much for checking out this episode of the menu. Definitely go check out that brand new episode of sorry, this episode of the Aura Podcast. <laughs> Be sure to go check out that order up on the menu and stay tuned for all the uh, newer episodes coming up, hopefully in the next few weeks. And always and forever, slice and dice and gaming. It's not just a motto, it's a lifestyle. See you next podcast. Later.